Hello friends, today let's solve swim in rising water. We are given an n times n integer metric, and uh, we want to return an integer, which means the least time until we can reach the bottom right square. We should start from the top left square, and uh, it says that uh, at time t, the depth of the water everywhere is t. We can swim from a square to another full direc directionally agent square if and only if the elevation of the both square individually are at most t. And it also says that we can swim in infinite distance in zero time. So what does that mean? So for example, if current time is time 4, then we can swim all around these squares because it says that we can swim in infinite distance. So for this example, we want to go from top left to bottom right, and we figure out this is the path that we will have the least time, because in this path, the largest number is 16. So that means we only need to wait until time 16, then we can go uh, go to the destination. So how to solve this problem? Well, let's try to understand this question well. Now we have a source, which is the top left square. So the index is 0, 0. How about the destination? We have a destination of n minus 1, n minus 1. And we actually want to find the shortest path. It's not the real shortest path. It means the largest number in this shortest path is as least as possible, as small as possible. So you may think about breakfast search because we have the source destination and it's in a 2D metric. So it seems like uh, it's undirected, unweighted uh, graph problem. But that's not true. Because if, let's see, this is 0 and this cell is 2. When can we go from 0 to 2? Only when the current time is larger or equal than 2. Let's say the current time is 4, then we can go from 0 to 2. However, if current time is 1, we cannot go from 0 to 2. So it's, it has a condition. It's like a weighted. So we just need to formulate these uh, rules into some uh, well format. So for example, if the current row column, we have the value of 4, the other co the, its right cell has the value of 5. So we will write its weight to 5. Because, let's say, if um, only when the time is 5 we can go there. So it's a, like the least cost. So you can call it a cost or distance or weight, whatever you want. But you understand it's just like the cost. We need to go from one cell to another. And we can see there is no negative edges here. So it... Uh, direct us to the dextrous algorithm. I think it's basically BFS, just like, just added the minimum heap and the distant array. Why do we need a minimum heap here, or the priority queue? Because in BFS, every level, it doesn't have order. Let's say, four, four items in one level of BFS, it has no order. But in this example, we want to have order. That means we want the value in this grid as small as possible. So we should sort by this order. So that's the reason we use priority queue. And what is the distance array mean? It's just like the cost. We go from the source to the uh, specific position, the minimum distance or minimum cost we should make. So for the initialization for this distance array, we should firstly set it to the 
as uh, let's say largest value, only the source node it should have should have the value of grid zero zero. If you know the dexterous algorithm, you will know the update for this distance array. Usually we use the sum. Let's say if we go here the distance is zero, go here distance two. Uh, I mean go from zero to two the cost is two. Then uh, the cost to reach two is two. But in this example we don't need the sum, we just need the maximum number because for a path, we only need to know the maximum value in that path. So, so we don't need to sum up, we just need the max. So the update rule is that if the distance go to the index RC is greater than the maximum value to reach its previous or its neighbor, the row column, uh, the maximum value when we reach its neighbor and the value in the grid, we pick the maximum value. If the distance accumulated here is larger than it, we should update it. Uh, how to understand uh, this condition? Well, um, if, uh, let's say, firstly, we initialize the distance here to be 4 or 5, I mean a large value, and the distance of uh, this cell should be zero, and the cost, as we said before, the cost should be two, because the grid, uh, this value is two. So that means the distance of this zero two is greater than the maximum value of the distance zero zero and the grid uh, zero one. Oh, sorry, the index is zero one, okay? So we should update the distance zero one to be the maximum value of these two values, just the two. So just uh, means because we don't know which one is the which one is larger, so we want to get its max value. Because for every two cells, if they are neighbors, we want to go from one to another. Actually, it's dependent on the larger value. One is the distance accumulated here. The other is the grid value here. Because at any time, if it's larger or greater than these two values, we can go from one cell to another. So we update here. Other part is just some typical breadth first search. So time complexity is big O E plus V log V. E is the number of ages. Ages here is big O n squared, and the v is the number of vertex, which also n n is the size, the number of columns and the rows of in this metric. So it basically is big O n squared plus n times log n. For the space complexity, at least we need a distance array and the weighted array. So it's big O n squared. So we just need to convert this algorithm to code. I hope you understand better. So firstly, we need the n, which is the grid dot length. And then we need the distance array. Distance array is just n, n. And we do the initialization for the row in distance. Every row, we should do array fill row to, we don't need to initialize to integer max value because it is said the grid ij is less than n squared. So here, n times n. But uh, do not forget to initialize the distance 0, 0 to be grid 0, 0. OK. And also, we need the visited array. So for the visited array, the size is n, n. Now we know the visited 0. 0 is true. OK. Another thing is what? Oh, priority queue. Priority queue. We save the index here. So we call it heap because it's minimum heap. Priority queue. 
So here we should define our own order for the A B. Its order is decided by their value in the grid. So it's it's like a vertex. Oh sorry, the index. So A I uh A0 A1 minus grid B0 B1. Okay. Now do not forget uh, do I miss the, no, I did not miss the parentheses. So now offer the source node, which is zero, zero. Okay, do the typical BFS. If it's not empty, we now pull the node from the heap, heap pull. Now we get the row, which is row call zero and the colon is call cur one and the uh, I think I should familiar very familiar about the directions so that will be zero one zero negative one one zero and the negative one zero okay so now we just need uh, for every third in the directions we get uh, r will be cur zero plus direction zero c curve one plus direction one okay a quick check whether this ver uh, index are valid great or equal than zero and r less than n and c great or equal than zero and uh, zero and uh, c less than n and uh, we haven't visited before r uh, c and uh, if the distance reach here is great, then the max we need to reach the distance row, column, and the grid, grid R, C. We should do three things one by one. First is mark it as weighted, so it will be true. Second thing is that update the distance R, C will be the maximum okay maximum value third thing is offer this index into the heap so that will be rc okay finally we should return distance n minus one n minus one but uh, we can i mean we can exit uh, quickly if the row equal to n minus 1 and the uh, colon equal to n minus 1 what we should do we should return um oh, sorry we should return distance n minus 1 or uh, actually row and the uh, column okay so we have uh complete uh weighted and uh, heap offer two times and pour one time and distance update initialization here and update uh, here okay seems we have finished hmm okay a typo here offer okay hope we don't have other typos thank you for watching see you next time